Hi friends. So today what we are going to do is we are going to learn how to draw a clown. So let's see the supplies that we need. We need half a sheet of paper. We need markers. We need crayons. A pencil. An eraser. I also have my whiteboard to practice draw. If you don't have a whiteboard, you can use a scrap paper. Okay. So first thing that we're going to do is um drawing a clown is super easy so because of that we are going to draw on the paper directly uh, whiteboard is here so that i can show you different ways you can draw the eyes nose and mouth okay so um, we are going to turn this paper we don't want uh, the paper to be a rectangle so i'm going to make it into a square shape so i'm going to of put my hand like this and then maybe you can ask uh, your mom or dad for help it doesn't have to be an exact square i'm just cutting off four finger space from my paper and then we are ready okay so the paper is ready so the first thing what i'm going to do is um, I'm going to draw a circle. You can draw a circle freehand or you can use uh, something like this, a lid like this to draw a circle. So this lid is big enough to, if I put my hand on top, it can fit and then it still does a few. Excuse me. So, or you can just say it's big enough such that it leaves only two finger space on either side. My crayon just fell and broke in two pieces. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right in the middle. I'm leaving two finger space on top and about three fingers, two finger space on. Because it's a square, I'm leaving two finger space all around. I'm putting this in there. I'm going to make a circle. Maybe I can use my marker to trace it right now. Okay. The next thing what we are going to do is we are okay, it will be easy for you guys to see if it is on this yellow surface. We are going to uh, draw the ears. So where should we place the ears? Um, a clown is a person dressed up like a clown, right? So uh, where do we have um, our ears? Our ears are on the side. Do we have the ears up here or here? If it's here, it will be like a bunny. If it is here, you'll look like a teddy bear. Our ears are on the side. So what we'll do is we'll take a pencil and make a C and a backward C like that. So our ears are on the side. Okay. Now uh, let's draw the um eyes so the eyes we leave some space for the forehead and then we'll draw the eyes here we don't we're not going to draw the eyes up here if it is a cartoon it is fine but still um i'm going to leave some space for my forehead otherwise this clown is going to ask you and me I want a forehead right so we are going to leave some space actually our eyes are in line with the ears so maybe here i'm going to make the eyes so eyes let me show you guys how to make the eyes on the whiteboard you can make eyes like that super easy or you can make eyes like this if that is what you want or you can have one eye looking up one eye looking down and you can make the eyes one eye big and one eye small also okay so here one eye is big and one eye small one eye is looking up and one eye is looking down this is a clown that we are drawing so we want to make him look funny right so i'm going to draw the eyes so the eyes one eyes i'm going to make big and one eye i'm going to um make small or one eye looking down okay or you can have both the eyes together 
uh, with let me show you. this are not together so this was one eye like that another eye like this one eye looking this way one eye looking this way <laughs> okay so it's up to you if you want to add eyelashes you can go ahead and add eyelashes also i'm adding some eyelash okay now let's draw the nose so the nose again you can make usually clowns uh, when we draw clowns we make the nose like an oval shape or you can make the nose like a circle okay so you can make a circular shaped or oval shape nose or even a nose like this it's up to you now next let's draw the mouth Mouth, I'm just drawing a big smile, okay? Or you can draw a small smile, whatever you want. So I'm going to make a, oh, I did with the permanent marker, it's fine. So we are done with the things on the face. Um, you can draw eyebrows, okay? Now let's draw, you can either draw hair sticking above here or you can draw hair. Let me show you a few ways to draw the hair or a hat. So suppose this is the head. You can draw the hair like this. This is the ears. Or you want, you can draw the hair like that. One string of hair. If you want, you can draw the hair like this. If you want another way, let me show you the ears are here. Just hair above his ears, like that. Or one more way, let me show you. Um, you can add a small hat. Okay, and no hair. <laughs> so we have a few options. You can pick one or you can have a hat as well as a, um, some hair so i'm going to make a teeny tiny hat so the hat is like a u and i'm going to add some hair here above his yes so now after you're done with that what we're going to do is you're going to um draw his um a bow tie we're going to add a bow tie so we're going to make a u shape like that okay and then we are going to make two lines and then like that and then we are going to make his body like this okay a curvy line curvy line done okay so let's draw the ears, outline the ears. Now we're going to take the black marker and go over all the lines. Okay, now I'm going to make some designs. Uh, I'm going to make some polka dots for his shirt. Um, it's up to you what shape you want. If you want heart shapes for his shirt, you can go ahead and make a heart shape. If you want um, um, stars, um, go ahead and do that. Whatever you want, okay? Here on the cheek, what I'm going, you can either make a circle here or you can make a heart. So, heart like this or a circle. What do you want to do? I'm going to make a circle. okay and then we are done with the drawing wasn't it super easy and super nice now it's time to color let's see how we color this uh, cute little so i'm taking out red because they have red nose clowns have red nose um what color should I put for the hat? Maybe brown hat. So I'm taking brown 
Oh, you can have a red hat or a rainbow hat. I forgot about that. You could make the hat whatever color you want. Okay. His nose is going to be red. The cheeks. Also, I'm going to make it red. What color should maybe I'm going to make this uh, orange. You can use whatever color you want for the shirt. Purple, purple, where are you? So I'm going to make this bow tie purple. All the little spaces I'm going to color with the marker. I'm going to color the hair. What color should we put for the hair? Do you want? A pink hair, a blue hair. Oh, I could make blue hair for this clown. I think he'll look cute with blue hair. Now, I'm going to, I'm done using my uh, marker maybe for the background. You, maybe background will leave it plain, okay? So let's put these things away the markers away before we start taking the crayons okay the crayons so for the crayon the shirt i'm going to make it a yellow shirt should it be yellow ah or blue shirt blue shirt mm. no yellow <laughs> i don't know A yellow shirt now uh, what else is remaining to color his face so what color should we give uh, the clown um, sometimes the clowns uh, paint their face white um, you can leave uh, make it white if you want sometimes um, if you want you can give the clown um, a skin color for the face also i'm going to color uh, with the skin color so um you can use a peach color for the skin if you want um, a clown to be a clown to have um a darker a tanned skin you can use this so um if you are drawing like a self-portrait a clown uh, with your skin color uh, you need to look what color would work for you right so here what i've done is um i've taken these two colors okay also black and i made all these different skin colors using just three three colors you know how i did that for this one i colored if you have you want to make a very light skin color uh press lightly with your peach color if you want to make it a little bit more darker press a little bit harder if you want to make it even darker than this one put this press hard and then add a teeny bit of brown on top then this one is just brown what i did is i was pressing it lightly and then i got the darker darker than this one uh, but if i want to make it darker press harder now, I wanted to make it darker than this. If your skin color is darker than this color, you are going to color, press this hard, take a bit of black and then color on top of that. Okay. Uh, if you want to make it even darker, press hard like that and then with brown and then put a bit of black on top and then put a little bit of brown again and then you get the darkest color so that is how you can get all the skin colors so my skin color is brown so i'm going to just use this if you want you can use peach if you want the clown's face to be because clowns usually paint their face white sometimes you can have that leave it white also i'm going to make it brown um, 
try not to go out of the lines but you need to color the ears also the neck is you can't see the neck so you don't have to color the neck that is one less thing to color right so i'm going to go 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 So when you draw the nose, see that it is not too close to the eyes also. Your nose is like the tip of the nose. Usually they keep this round thing on the tip, right? So it should you should leave some space. I forgot to tell you guys that. Even if it is close to the eyes also, it doesn't matter because um, to look like a clown, you would do things that... Um, color your face or paint your face whatever color whatever you you feel funny right will make you look funny so so i'm going to take some red already this is uh, red over here but i'm going to the lips on either side okay a little bit more on the cheeks okay so now for the background um what we are going to do is just put one single color because your clown is already too colorful so you can either use whatever color one single color i'm not going to use blue because his hair is blue i'm not going to use purple let me use a color that i haven't used a green okay let me use green for the background that's what i'm using uh oh so if you have try and use a color that you haven't used don't use black it will make it uh, super dark um we have used black to outline right so some of you would have used black for the hair also so that's fine you are going to use the color okay so with that we are done with our, our clown portrait okay i hope you guys had fun making this clown uh, portrait with me i had lots of fun uh, after you upload your uh, finished work on into club not club club <laughs> see so whatever your class use uh do email me your finished work i would like to see how your clown turned out so till we meet next time bye bye